In this video, I want to talk to you about an open source project that Eddie Hub is creating called Linkfree. You might have heard of it before, but I want to give you a quick walkthrough about what it can do and how you can get involved and how you can start accelerating your tech career by getting involved in open source. Plus, there is a giveaway where you can win some GitHub swag and all you have to do is contribute to open source. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, let's get into it. So we have the Eddie Hub Linkfree project. It's the open source alternative to Linktree, but so much more. More. Not only do we have links, but we have tags, we have QR codes, we have milestones, a bit like Polywork, we have testimonials and we have events. Let us actually pick a profile and let me show you. You can go to the Get Starting Guide so you can create your own profile. Before we get to that, let's click on the example and let's have a look at my profile. So you can see that people are getting some serious views, over 10,000 views in the last few days. It's really climbing fast. These are my links and you can turn on analytics so you can see the uh, views and the links your profile gets. But not only that, it has milestones that I mentioned. So we're gonna actually redesign this soon. So if you wanna get involved and you're a designer or a coder or you've got any ideas, or any good examples, like it all helps. Come along, have a look at this project uh, and give us some suggestions, but Milestones definitely needs some TLC soon. And then I'm gonna skip testimonials and come back to that in just a second. And let's move to events. So with events, don't you find it painful when you find out about the event after it's happened or you go into an event and it clashes with another event that your friends are going to? Well, we thought it'd be great if people could add events to their profile, but we can do even better. So hold that thought for just a moment. So you've got the events that people can attend. You can see if it's in person or live or both, and you can do filtering by either or. And all these events, are collected into the community event so you get to see everyone's events in day order and then you can filter by virtual if that's what you want virtual or you can't filter yet that's in a pull request so if you need to help your github profile get some more reviews then uh, go review that pull request that's open at the moment and then you'll be able to also click on in person or virtual to filter the events and i think we've got a few more filters that's in the pull request at the moment as well and you can go see the person you can click on their their face to go see their profile and you can click on this to go to the actual event itself so it's super interesting, so we don't have to miss out on events anymore. But let me go back to my profile again, and I wanna to talk to you about testimonials. So a little bit of LinkedIn here as well, you can give testimonials to each other. And each time you give a testimonial to someone, you get a green square on your GitHub profile, which again is super awesome. You can see this is all massively tied around open source. You have some shortcut links at the top. And if you're out on your phone and you're at an event, you can bring up your QR code, people can scan it and come straight to your profile, which I think is super awesome as well. And by giving people testimonials, your profile becomes clickable as well. So then you can go to someone else's profile. Again, it's kind of like a links, content, social network platform. We're still working on the idea, but you can see this is open source and you can get involved too. We're almost hitting 2000 stars. So talking about stars, and before we get into the tech side of the project, let's go to the giveaway so you can learn a little bit more about it. I still think you need to watch the whole video to understand it completely, but it's pretty straightforward. You need to find this tweet, link in the description below, and you need to like, comment, and retweet. And that's pretty given, step one. Step two and three get more interesting. So step two, star the GitHub project, link in the description below or here as well. But also you need to create a link free profile on link free. And as I mentioned in the beginning, next to the example link, there is a getting started. And that will take you to the doc section within the link free project. And it actually gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your profile in the GitHub UI. So you don't even have to install anything. You don't have to do anything like that. You can do it all here straight on the GitHub UI. But if you want to, and you want to contribute more and do other things, we have more guides. So you could do it with Gitpod, so that still works within the browser, but it's a full IDE with Mongo and everything else all set up and VS Code. But you can also do local development and you can also do it with Docker Compose. There are so many ways to get started. You may be thinking, well, I'm not experienced enough to, to get started in this project. Well, there are so many ways that you can get involved. Yes, you can create your profile. Yes, you can add testimonials as we mentioned already. But there are people adding automated testing. We're using Playwright from Microsoft here to automate the test for the project. So it actually drives the browser like the user. And you can get involved in adding more coverage for those tests because we're not testing everything yet and, and you can help with that. So there's that. The Storybook. We're using Storybook, which shows the components we have in the project. And so people, if they want to add a new section, they can see what components already exist and pass in data and play with it all within the browser, which is amazing. But however, they're not all components are covered yet. So again, you can get involved in there. And if you're in another field like DevOps, for example, we've got a Kubernetes directory. We also have a GitHub workflows directory 
where you can actually improve these workflows. Do they all need to run every time or can you filter out? And if we go to the JSON check, GitHub action, you can see it only runs when files change in the data directory. And that's because it's doing a JSON check for these files. So if a file has changed somewhere else, this doesn't need to run. This keeps the project more efficient. So pull requests are more efficient. They don't have too many checks, but other actions could do with some more filters probably like that as well. Or maybe with some extra steps, check that certain required fields are appearing in the JSON file, things like that. So you can keep adding value over and over again. And you don't have to be an expert. Just get involved, have a look. We've almost got a hundred issues, have a look see which ones you know, look interesting to you. We've got some critical ones, which would be great if you look at those. And we also have good first issue ones and lots of others. So do have a look and see how you want to get involved. And we have a Discord where we chat about these issues. We do calls together. This is how we're able to make the project kind of move so fast because everyone's contributing, everyone's getting involved. And if we look down here, on the um, GitHub repo page, you can see we've almost got a thousand contributors and it might just be one line of documentation, but if it confused you and you're able to make improvement to the documentation, then it'll help everyone else after you. So keep those improvements coming. And to be honest, the smaller the improvement, the smaller the contribution, the better. So keep it small. It just needs to add a little bit of value. Let me give you an example of how a little bit of value can add so much value. So. When we were talking about making these clickable, they're not done yet, like I said, it's in a pull request, to be able to filter the list of events, especially as this list gets longer, and talking about other filters, the person contributing was saying, well, I can do other filters, I can make it so you can toggle them, select multiple ones. And I was like, wait a second, right now we have nothing. So if you can do it, that you could just filter by the two current event types, then that's gonna add so much value already. Later on, another pull request can come and make them kind of toggle on and off, add other filters, and also being able to select more than one. They can all come in new pull requests. So don't think you need to add too much in your pull request. Don't try and think about the quantity. Think about how much value it adds to the project and adds to the user. And it's great to see that there are so many people with popular profiles on the Link Free project. You can see some of these profiles have recently been created, but they're already getting into the thousands of views. And when you go to these profiles, you get to see their links. Produma doesn't have events and milestones, and it's fine. You can decide what uh, features you want to enable on your profile. I've enabled them all as an example, but you don't have to. My point is you can see these profiles are getting uh, views, so you should add yours. So um, you can kind of join the fun and geek out with us all. And let's talk about some new features that are coming. So with the new features that are coming, I really want to add to the search. So when you search for someone, for example, like Eddie, to be able to search via location, like via a city or a town, and be able to have the people on there on a map. So if I'm going to a new town, like if I'm going to, to Bangkok, Thailand, I can then search for Bangkok and then see who's in the area and I can get to geek out with them. And we're going to do the same map also for the event. So you get to kind of zoom in on the map and filter the results so you can see events that are happening in your area or an area that you're interested in going to. Hopefully that sounds interesting to you. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. It really helps support my channel as well. And while you're down, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the Eddie Hub Discord. We geek out between videos and live streams and any questions you have about Link Free, let us know. I'm really keen for you to enter the competition. I'm also keen for you to have a profile and get involved in open source because that's the best way to accelerate your career really fast. It's a great way to stand out. I'll see you in Discord.